These are all the boxes for just today's board fulfillments. And this might be the last batch of boards that gets fulfilled in this house because we signed a lease. We signed a lease. This week we did a lot of stuff. A lot of board fulfillments. We decorated the Christmas tree. Cause I was so fed up with having no Christmas decorations in this house. It was making me sad. Also, I asked Jenny a very gross question. And I crack open a fresh box of crinkle paper. In addition to all that, we're also going to share with you the floor plan of our commercial space. Ah! But first, we got some boards to fulfill. Or yes. we did it last week, but you're gonna watch it do it now. And do we're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. Good morning. So we are gonna do what we do pretty much every single other morning, and that is check for board orders. I'm gonna sift through all the emails we got and see what we gotta do. It looks like we have to do three boards and one board refinishing kit. So let's get those knocked out. Okay, we have all three of our cutting boards fulfilled here. I just need to do a refinishing kit. And I secretly love doing these. I just think they're so cute because they're a miniature version. The boxes are a miniature version of our cutting board boxes. I don't know, I love that. They're just, they're so cute. Look at this. Look how tiny these little guys are. Ah, they're just so cute. Good morning, it is 7 a.m. on a Friday morning, and you guessed it, we are going to fulfill a cutting board. This one is for a realtor, so it's going out as a closing gift. And uh, yeah, hopefully it gets there before Christmas. It should, we're in that like really weird in-between time where if somebody ordered a board, it would most likely get there in time for Christmas, but like, ooh, we're cutting it close at this point. But since she's right here in Houston and her client's right here in Houston, we should be covered. I know, not exactly my favorite look in the whole wide world either, but my less favorite look is an email from somebody who has a damaged board. So, here we are. Also, I'm so proud of myself because I started decorating the house a little bit for Christmas. I know it's late, I know it's late. Everybody can make fun of me for how late I am in decorating my house for Christmas. Usually the tree is up December 1st at midnight. But since our laser is in the way of where our tree would go and we're kind of in the process of like moving stuff around, prepping for maybe a move to a commercial space, it's just been too chaotic to actually put up a tree. I don't have room for it. And so I've spent all winter season saying, eh, I just won't decorate, it's not that big of a deal, I don't wanna drag everything out. But then I got kind of bummed out because I had no Christmas decorations anywhere. So I did like the minimum required to make it look like there's some sort of Christmas happiness going on in this house. Good morning, it is time for our daily board fulfillment. So this morning we have three charcuterie boards going out and one board refinishing kit. Um, all of these, yeah, all of these are actually going out to realtors um, as closing gifts or client gifts or whatever. Um, but what's different about this set of boards is that we are doing two cherry boards. We don't get a whole lot of orders for the cherry charcuterie boards. I don't know why, personally, I, like they're my favorite. I think they look really pretty.
I've got another question for you. Yes. So you have to make one of these two changes. Okay. okay. You got to pick one. Have to pick one. Okay. Would you rather have to drink from your ears? Which what? Means, which means pour everything into your ear. Or would you rather have to eat through your belly button? What kind of question is this? Where did you find this question? Everybody else stays the same. You have to do it differently. Do you want to drink from your ears or eat through your belly button? Ew. Um. Probably eat through my belly button because I feel like it's more of like a direct hit. Like my stomach's already there, but like. Yeah, but you're at a dinner party. Do you really want to? I don't want to be pouring stuff in my ears either. Do you either. want to pull your sh shirt up and? Well, no, because I could like connect a tube or something and then it wouldn't like be obvious and I could keep it hidden under my shirt. This is a stupid question. I agree. The horse duck one was better. Let us know your answer. Would you rather drink from your ears or eat by shoving things through your belly button? Let us know in the comments. Mm, gross. Good morning, another day, another board fulfillment. Today we've got four sunrise cutting boards to fulfill for a realtor's husband who works in insurance but liked her boards so much that he wanted some for his own clients, which is wonderful. I'll take referrals from just about anywhere. And then we have another realtor who texted me last night and needs seven charcuterie boards. And that puts her at the very end of her bulk order. So I will send her another invoice to order her next round of boards. Let's get into it. And we're on to a brand new fresh box of crinkle paper. I always love the new boxes because once you get to the bottom, all the crinkle paper starts to get like matted down by the weight of the other crinkle paper. But when it's brand new, it's just so fluffy and, and nice and all the crinkles are fresh. I love crinkle paper. I could like take a nap in this. Also, I bit the bullet and I just put the Christmas tree up. I originally wasn't going to because we have like no room left in this house, but I was in the mood too and I had a free couple of hours. So here she is. And here's our hickory star that we made on our bandsaw like forever ago. We're talking like North Dakota forever ago. I don't even know if we were on YouTube yet when we made this, but this was the first star that we made for our Christmas tree. It's cute. We have completely revamped the stud stack. We have Two new programs that are free for StudStack members. We have an additional program that is now accessible by StudStack members absolutely free. If you are serious about growing your business, you need to be in the StudStack. We're about to start our third year of the group and it's just an amazing resource of other business owners that can help answer questions, help guide you through the process of starting and running your own maker business. 
no matter what step of your business you're in, whether you're just starting out and you don't know what to make and sell, you can't find customers, or you've already got a business and you just need a few key strategies to help multiply your profits. Join the stud stack. It's a blast in there. We have a lot of fun and I'll see you on the other side. So now to deliver on the clickbait. <laughs> The reason you're all here. We have officially signed a lease on our commercial warehouse space. We don't have keys yet. We're supposed to get those tomorrow. So by the time you're watching this, we're already like moving in and being frantic and running a truck. You know, you know how hard it is to try and find a moving truck a few days before Christmas in a big city? Apparently there's a moving truck shortage. And Amazon is paying three times the rental rate for all trucks. Anyway, we got a lot to figure <laughs> out right now, but we promised you that we would give you news as soon as we had it. So that's the news. We've signed a lease. We're moving in. We're finally expanding beyond the garage. I know. So that'll be our next video is navigating and figuring out how to move into the commercial space. Please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you don't miss this. There's been a lot of confusion. People think that they've missed the boat on what's going on. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Can't wait. And as promised, we'll see how good your pause game is. Here is the layout of the floor plan. Ask me how I do it. I just stick to the game.